Here we are at this beautiful beaver meadow here. And uh, it's really gorgeous. These are very exciting lands. And a lot of times when visitors come and see these places, they look out there and, and think that a lot of that out there is just grass growing. When really, that couldn't be, often be the less of what is actually growing out there. And I've picked three things today that'll distinguish between these graminoids, as we call them, grass-like plants. So what I have here is a grass. This plant here is a sedge. And this one here is a rush. And the way you can tell the difference, there are differences in, in the details of the fruits and the flower structure, but there's some easier points to recognize. One of them is between these sedges and the grass, we see they have leaves up on the stem. This plant here, this is the leaf, and there are no leaves coming off of the side. We see this flower up here, but we'll talk about that in a second. So rushes don't have leaves up what, what, what appears to be their stem. Their stem is the leaf. When we look more closely at the stem of a grass, we see these joints, these kind of swollen nodes right here. And only grasses have nodes like that. Well, clearly the rush doesn't. It's just this green smooth up and down the whole thing. And here, we don't really have that where the, where the leaf meets the stem on the sedge either. All right. Now, what makes a sedge a sedge has to do with the details within this fruiting structure. And this shape really can be quite varied. But what we're going to see, I'm going to try to take some of this apart. And I might have to just pick a different species, but let's see how I do. I'm going to break them up and I will try to separate some here and hopefully you can see some of these things. But you'll see these round lighter green things that have a little, they look a little bit like a balloon and they are just that. They are a bag-like structure called a perigenium that is wrapped around the seed that's a very simple seed, an achene, a little like a sunflower seed, but very small within that. And then you're going to see some structures that are attached to that, that look a little different, and there may have been some that are kind of, have separated, but they have the long point, and uh, they are the scales. So if you have a grass-like plant producing a bag-like perigenium structure with the seed developing inside, with a scale underneath each and every one. And we'll look at this fruiting structure again here. We can see that a little bit, how it's put together there since I've pulled it apart. Then that will make it a sedge. Grasses are a little different. They kind of have two pairs of scale-like structures if you look closely at their fruits. The rush is different in that the flower grows straight out of the leaf here the leaf-like stem, and uh, usually about two-thirds of the way up. So that makes it a rush, and also it is round. I can go like this with my fingers, and it is round without nodes. Grasses are pretty much round with nodes. Sedges, when you rotate them like this, you'll feel that, oh, it goes thump, 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 and that's because they have a triangular stem. Not all of them and some more than others, but uh, the majority of them, we have a triangular stem. So rushes are round with no nodes. The grasses have nodes and are also round. And the sedges generally have a triangular shape to them. So that's grasses, sedges, and rushes. I have one other kind that I have collected here which is clearly quite different. And there's a lot of details we're not going to go through today. But it generally has the flowering structure at the very top. It can be quite large and really developed. And this is the classic bulrush. This is a bulrush. And they can be uh, even five and six feet tall. 
but certainly at least uh, three, two or three feet tall. So uh, the genus on this is Scirpus. The genus on all of these sedges is Carex. And uh, these rushes get to be a little bit of a headache, but most of these kinds of ones are called Juncus. And the grasses, there's a whole lot of different things. So uh, more detail than you might want to know today. But we're going to leave it like that. Uh, grasses, sedges, and rushes. And they're a big component of the beaver meadow.